Hello everyone, welcome to CurtoFlick. My name is Chad Bradle, and today I'd like to share with you an awesome experience I had down in Detroit where I was invited to go see the Shane Hurlbert Illumination Experience, which was fantastic. There was a lot of things he covered and it was a great, great learning experience. But I'd like to share with you some of the uh, takeaways and main points that I got from it. Um, some of them were more like uh, topic listings that I think were fantastic. And I picked a few of them that I just like to talk about. One of the really cool things that I saw him using was actually just foam. And he had his own DIY version, which was a giant circular foam board with a hole in the center so you could grab with your hands. So you had something to hold onto in the center. You could just hold it one-handed. I thought that was fantastic and so probably something I will be uh, definitely making in the future. He also had a rig set up there that he called the light study, where essentially he had an actor or actress sit in the center of this setup, and then on a dolly system and a small crane, they moved these huge sets of lights all the way around this actor or actress at at different intervals or slow speed, and he would explain why that lighting, or how that lighting was affecting that individual at that moment in time. And also how you could move it, the light, so that you could actually make someone look younger or older just on the positioning of the light and how you shine it on them. And it was really, really great to see the difference and be able to see that happening in real time, uh, how light affected someone's face as it moved around. That was really cool. Something else that I thought was really awesome was uh, another DIY of his where he actually took his, what did he say, $16,000 of professional lighting, lit a scene, and then he took it down and put up his $200 lighting he built uh, and got from Home Depot. And then he tried to match his $16,000 lighting and he did and it looked awesome. So for you out there that, you know, don't have much money, you can do it with some effort, time, practice, or go check this experience out. I know there's shows available. You can see how it's done by a master. He also explains why he uses false color instead of histograms which is just crazy because I've never even tried it. I've looked at it and went, whoa, what am I looking at? And then I just switched it off. But after that, I mean, I'll definitely be giving it a, giving it a go on probably my next project. Another tip would be to take your color chart or the chart that you have with multiple colors on it, if you don't, that, don't know what that is, and when you're trying to uh, align it before your shoot, after you have all of your lighting set up, always point it towards your key light and tilt it in a manner where the light is not reflecting off of it and back into the camera. You want it to look, give it a completely flat image and by pointing it at your key light, you're actually showing the true colors as uh, how you want to see them in post. So point it at your key light, great tip. Another great tip is to match your diffuser parallel to your light because if your diffuser is slightly off kilter you're actually diffusing your light more by putting it at an angle to your light because technically as you make something angled you're thickening the amount of material that the light has to pass through hence you're diffusing it more so if you need more light make sure your diffusers are parallel with your light planning your shots ahead of time based on where the sun will be in the day. And that is a really important one and a very big thing that uh, I had to deal with on my latest short bound, where lighting and how the sun and where the sun is at has a big impact on how your production will be. But essentially the real takeaway that I got from this entire experience was how to portray emotion using light. Now, Typically you might just think like the standard, if I point my light this way and have it bright and create like a harsh shadow, it might mean this, or just like standard things like that. But he goes way beyond just those, those set types of emotions. He 
goes in depth and shows examples from films he's made as, and he breaks it down and explains what he's doing through the shots. And really that is, you'd have to see it to understand. I mean, you, you just have to see it and you'd be amazed. I, mean, I highly recommend checking this experience out. I mean, it's done a lot for me and honestly, I will never look at lighting the same way again after seeing this. It's fantastic. Now, a cool idea I had about the, uh, after seeing the light study setup is possibly maybe if you wanted to try a, uh, a simple at home version, you could just set your camera and then set a, uh, like a point light or key light of some type and post it or position it on a chair or something with wheels and just try to like keep a, uh, an equal distance from your actor as I sit or stand in the center and just roll it around or have someone roll it around while you're looking at your camera and you might actually be able to see how the light is affecting them right there and then. And that could be a simple at home uh, test if you wanted to try that out. But those are really the biggest tips and takeaways that I personally got. There was, I mean, there's actually a lot more, but I don't, I don't want to spoil anything. And I just, there's, there's just so much. There's so much to talk about. So really, I hope some of these that I shared with you might inspire you to look into this uh, event that's touring around the country and perhaps abroad. I guess I don't know personally about that, but yeah. I wanted to share with you these tips, these ideas, and these things I took away, and maybe it might inspire you to go check this out yourself. I will put a link down in the description to their website if you want to see. Uh, I believe they have a trailer, so you can watch the trailer, and uh, you can also see if uh, maybe a city near you will be hosting this event. So you could get yourself a ticket and go see the exact same thing I did. Once again, Thank you for watching. My name is Chad Bradle, and I'll see you later.